fucking journey this has been. Yes, it has been quite a journey. Welcome, everyone, to what I assume is the last episode, or at least the second to last. Let's see. Uh, we're going to talk to Mokuba and say, let's get out of here. Get ready. So, yeah, this is... I think they're going to put me outside, and it's like, this is the end. What are these ruins? I didn't get a line. What is that tower? I like that they've... Yeah, this is like an alternate universe, because, like, Mai's here. Yeah, Mai <laughs> is the one that lost to Merrick. Welcome to Kaiba Corp Island. Oh, thank God we're not going to have to fight Golzabora. Uh, <laughs> I think that was anime only, I'm pretty sure. And, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I will surpass my stepfather. Is that all you care about, Kaiba? Pretty much. So, you already surpassed him. The dual tower stands among trouble. The fitting tube marker for your sword. And I'm here too. Actually, can I save That's right now? Me. Yum. It's a me. Yum. Let's quickly save in case we ever want to come back to the sacred cards. You know. Revisit it one day. Yeah, revisit it one day. Make that final deck. <laughs> make an alpha. Hey, I think we're legitimately going to end without ever knowing what some cards do. Oh yeah, high probability of that. I also think we'll, we we will not be including Jinzo in the deck simply because that is Esperoba's Jinzo. We have the real Jinzo. We've evolved. Appropriate Jinzo, <laughs> our father's legacy. Exactly. Battle City Tournament. Out of the four remaining duels, only those two winning their respective matches this time will move on to the final duel atop the tower. Now let us begin. Okay, that has to be Yugi versus Yom. Yeah, I have to fight. This fucking guy. I didn't plan to cheat. I don't well, understand. Certainly wasn't. Why are you saying that? Like I wasn't gonna. <laughs> Listen, I'm not gonna take it from the guy who believes in the heart of the cards. Yeah. Don't don't fucking give me shit after your heart of the cards and your magic mind switching. Yeah, come on. At least I've been honest with you this entire time. I told you that he was my brother-in-law the second I learned it, okay? <laughs> I wasn't dying to get anything. I didn't anything. know either until I did, and then I told you. I'm going to just say right now, that was my B. So, putting up the Jinzo number 7. I think we'll, we, it's unfortunate we're not going to end with 7 Jinzo number 7s, but it, you know. Oh, this actually is not the greatest hand in the world. But we do have that 1400 girl. We but do. it might be best to set Griggle and just see what Yugi's rocking. Yeah, I also feel like uh, we can set... You can set all your spells and play a pot of greed. I'm going to set this one for now, because I don't want to run into a heavy storm situation. Ah, and we lose our thing. That's a good call. Yeah. Uh, Magician yeah. girl. That's pretty good. Okay. Looking up. Yeah, shit's look... looking up. Again, this is Yugi, so... He's bound to have some good shit in that hand. Never mind. <laughs> Wait, he, he, atta attacked with he attacked with the big... <laughs> <laughs> Yugi, everybody, legendary duelist. Okay, then. So here's what's gonna happen. This is, by the way, the only time Griggle has survived a battle with an opposing monster. Yeah, we're gonna play Dark Magician Girl, and then we're gonna win because Yugi attacks with the Big Shield Gardener. Yugi attacked with the. What are you doing? Are you just like? If he played literally any other monster in the entire game, it, we, we would have probably not been in as good a position as we are right no. now. No. I think he's 100% fucked himself, and I don't think he realizes he's really gonna lose because of that. He's gonna uh, lose because he attacked with... Yeah, it was Exodia was his face-down monster. He didn't even play a monster! Legendary Yugi. Legend. I'm just gonna say this now. He's not even top five hardest opponents we fought. He is literally the I mean, easiest. He was like a starter duel. Dark. That's not Slifer. No, we didn't get Slifer. What the hell? You bitch. Give us Slifer. <laughs> Give us fucking Slifer. Dark Magician is not your best card. You're strong enough to defeat. You're strong enough to beat Mary Gishtar. If you could take down my big shield Gardner. Oh, here it my is. My big shield Gardner technique. Oh, there we go. Okay, thanks. Uh, we should look. Slifer, you asshole. We should look what Slifer does. Like we're not going to use yeah, him because he does different things. Because uh, we're gonna um, obviously we're gonna win with the card that gave was given to us by our true love. Right. So that's the only way it's gonna end. Solid vision system, virtual stage. Coliseum. Yep. 
This is the duel of a card cut. The oh wow, this is way more awesome. Cute amusement for children. <laughs> but it will fall to my blue eyes. Man, they really got the cockiness of like Kaiba of like uh -huh. quiet. Also, I like Eric's. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, that's well, I uh... got all three blue eyes, and Ra didn't give a shit. What? I played three monsters in one turn and still lost? Fwahaha, <laughs> <laughs> so much for your big talk. You two shall suffer in the Shadow Realm. Fwahaha. <laughs> Interesting moment. alternate reality. Oh. I getting sent to the Shadow Realm, it's Kaiba. <laughs> My brother has left me an underground message that says Goku and Aurelius essay got shown. He is screaming. So I'll look I'll online later. Right now, the sacred cards must be played. Yeah, this is the final duel. Yes. So let us quickly look into what Slifer does. One moment. I'm trying to end, trying to end the sacred cards, boy. What's the sacred cards? I'm closing the door. How dare you ignore the fact that I'm doing the sacred cards? <laughs> Alright, let's see. It's pretty good, though. It is. Uh, have you seen it? No, oh, this is unfair. This this is yeah, unfair. The 12, the 12 key is pretty great. A dragon I'm that can. at the 18 key right now. For every card in the player's hand, the power is up three levels. So, wait, he starts at 4,000? Oh, man. No, you just take a break and watch this. Okay, everyone, we're on a Rayleigh watch break. <laughs> we will get our live reactions of my essay. Literally, uh, they it's a Rayleigh and Kid Goku do a side-by-side -side in Shakan and Kamehameha. All right, all right, all right. Live, live reactions. I Again, I don't care about the... I need to see the essay. Ah, uh, she picks up the rock. Oh, my God. It's amazing. <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh, it's just the 12. The 18 is something special. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, poor Tao. Oh, uh, the Gachans get into the action. Oh, oh my god, it's beautiful. <laughs> oh, she cheers! She cheers at the end! <laughs> oh... Oh, it's great. Look how pleased Goku looks with himself. It's so good. I have to quickly say, I saw the essay. It's amazing. Itself is amazing. People are hearing me live tweet my reaction. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get more into this later. Right now, we have to finish Sacred Cards. Oh, on the same time that we finish Sacred Cards, Aurelius. Is that a coincidence? No. Think here to cheer it. you on exactly so slifer is four thousand, and then for every card in my hand he can get up to seven thousand attack <laughs> if uh, i have three cards if i'm understanding this correctly that's pretty good that it, does... wait let me read that again so a dragon that can power up based on the cards in the hand for every card in the hand uh in the player's hand power is up to three levels Oh, okay so that means he gets 1500 attack points for every card in our hand oh he does yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, one moment. Can you talk real quick? I might my uh computer, my laptop needs charging. This is a great way to end Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all about Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah. Yeah. So a level in this game is uh 500 attack points. Three levels per card at five cards is what? 15, 30, 45, 60. Five cards because you have to place life right of your hand. So four cards. 15, 30, 40, 6. He gets 10,000 attack points. 1,000 attack points total. Oh my god. It's really good. Uh, now I'm conflicted. Should use Obelisk because it's Shizu, our, our one true loves card. But also attack points. So I don't know. I'm genuinely conflicted. Oh my god. I I don't know, guys. I don't know. I hear I hear Wokey moving in the background, by the way. On old furniture. <laughs> He's looking for a computer charger so that he can charge his computer. 
Merrick. And we're either going to get shit stomped by Merrick, or it's going to be another Yugi situation where he's actually incredibly useless. I agree, and I'm back, by the way. He is back. So I did the math on that. Uh, Slifer gains 6,000 attack. Holy shit, really? 6,000. Yeah. So he gets 1,500 per card, and the most cards you can have in your hand after you play him is four. Huh. Thousand on top of his 4,000, which gives him 10,000 total attack points. I mean, that's pretty good. It's not a uh, obelisk level of destroying the field, but it is disrespect at an all-time high. So... Do we want to put him in the deck and then make way for another bigger monster to enter the deck? We would have to get rid of... Um... No, actually, I think we're fine. I feel it's... like we should have to put Slifer in just because he's a god card, though. That's fair. She, she's what a Shizu. Then it's going to completely fuck us over because we're going to draw both Obelisk and Slifer very quickly. But it's okay. It's worth it. Yeah, I agree. I think we'll get rid of, what, Unhappy Maiden? <laughs> Or we could get rid of someone who's kind of exp like kind of expensive, and then put a better guy. Although but then we'd still get rid of Unhappy Maiden. All right. <laughs> it's a it's one of those like we're removing both. All right, fair enough. Let's see. Cost. Okay. Uh, so I feel like it has to be one of our tribute monsters. So it's either going to be Pump King or Toon Dark Magician Girl who will not follow us to the finals. Pump King has been here from the beginning, but also he's much worse. Yes, I think we can agree on that. I think in terms of pure raw power, Dark Toon Dark Magician Girl will be there. But also, we specifically asked for the dragon for her, so... I feel like both of these guys have earned their place, but also I don't know... But also, neither one is a god card, so... Yeah. And I also feel like we do have Mech Chameleon in the deck. <laughs> so... <laughs> maybe we're actually gonna get rid of Penguin Soldier. Mech Chameleon will somehow find its way to the finals. No, oh, Mech Chameleon has really earned it. Yeah, Mech Chameleon has somehow... Airport from the start. Mech Chameleon is the, the one card that has somehow sticked with us through the entire game... For no real reason. I feel like he's just blown under the radar. Yeah. Mech Chameleon is the, the, the secret MVP. Because nobody really pays attention to him. Uh, let's see, how much space... Can we actually use Gemini Elf? Ooh, let's try it. I mean, yes, we can. Uh, we can, it's but it's too much cost. Yeah, it's way too much. Oh my god. It's a lot of cost. Too much cost, holy shit. Can we use Gamma? No, we can't. So we need something around 100 level. 100... Around 130-ish. Just to be double sure. Okay. 130-ish. Hopefully. Yep. Okay, let's look down to the 130s. Oh, I remember now why Mammoth we... Graveyard, pretty, pretty goat, though. Which one? Mammoth Gra oh, Mammoth Graveyard is. Mammoth Graveyard. Let's add two. Let's do it. All right, now for real this time, let's end this game. Let's end this series. Let's take down Merrick. No one talking to anyone else. I forgot Everyone's that I have to talk to this the, Just looking forward. Yes, I am ready to duel. An yeah. climactic fucking duel with Yugi. I'm still not over that. It is maybe the funniest duel in the history of like... I'm a little mad. You know what? By the end of this... I'm not going to be surprised if Ishizu will be the hardest person we fought. Because the yeah, way... That's true. The way she fucked us over was real good. And I like the fact that I said fucked over when talking with Ishizu, but that's the way it is. Yeah. That's how it is. <laughs> I will now be putting up our good boy. Just over right into our hearts. Jinzo number seven. We will not lose another Jinzo number seven. Or maybe oh, we will. A good starter. Oh, no. Uh, then power down? Oh, what? Wait, how much did it had starting? If that's it, weaker. 1,800. Really? Yeah. Because minus one is minus 500 attack points. Wow. Okay, so here's the plan. Okay. Uh, back into darkness. Okay. We door on and we clone up. Yeah, I'm also going to put down acid trample. Mm-hmm. 
That's the second part of the plan. Good. Now good. he's going to kill himself on the trap hole, and then we're going to get our Dark Magician girl, and then we're going to win the game. That sounds pretty good to me. What is he actually? He's not, not going to do keep it. doing this shit. Apparently not. How much life? Our life points. So he's still going to lose regardless, because next turn we get uh, a witch girl. And we power a Dark Magician girl up even more. Yeah, he's fucked. Yes. All right. So far, so good. He's the only person who's really used effect monsters besides Ishizu. Wow! Yeah, that was half our life points. Holy shit! Okay. The Bistro. He had Bistro fucking Butcher? Uh, yes. Do we want to just make more Duran right, clothes? I mean, no. But what if but... we draw Obelisk? Obelisk or Slifer. Okay, make the Doran clothes. Yeah. Oh, are they weaker? No, they're Remember not. that our life points are low. Okay, yeah, that's a good thing to remember. So let's not take too many risks other than the Dorons. Okay. I, again, I, I like also having the buffer. I think next turn we might win this. If, unless he plays something crazy. Oh, fuck! Butcher. God, that's a strong four-star monster. Yeah, that is insane. Now let's just wish his apprentice up. And, and win. I was about to accidentally tribute her. I really hope that that trap card is not going to fuck us over. Did we I don't think he realizes it's a trap card. <laughs> or it's like a, or some kind of shitty spell. We won. <laughs> <laughs> the, our love for Ishizu was too strong. <laughs> the god card no, lost. No, the god card didn't lose. You didn't even play it, you asshole. Even, really, you got... By the way, I obtained the winged dragon raw. I can't use it, apparently. Because it's the last card I get. <laughs> I think you can just walk around and duel after this, though. No, I checked. You can't. <laughs> you can't even use Ra? No, you can't. The evil and Merrick's dissipated. Yes, I did it. I have saved my brother-in-law, everyone. High fives. High fives all around. It's coming to the wedding. Coming to the wedding. Joey, you're reinvited. Taya, Taya, you coming to the wedding? Taya, I think, it, I think it really, you know, we've had some fun times. Mostly one-sided, but I really would appreciate it if you came to the wedding. <laughs> Oh, Tristan's crying. I'm, I'm happy I'm getting married too, bro. It's all good. We're all having a happy ending. For all of us. I'm back as great as ever. Mokova's here. We'll be reaching Domino soon. Get ready for Disembark. Oh, there's so much to plan. How do you like that big attitude? <laughs> Woo. Thanks, Tristan. I almost forgot I had this to say. My big brother woke up. Damn. Thanks, y'all. I guess that means ah, you're both in. I accidentally saved Kaiba. Alright. As a former rival, he's also invited to the wedding. Everyone gets to come. My, my, that. Yes, I have done well. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, oh. I mean, yes, <laughs> of course. For you. Because I knew a specific. I should have said no, but. <laughs> it can be your wedding gift. Fine. Uh. It's cool. You're playing cool. And look, even Odeon found somebody. He found your brother. Yeah. He found Merrick. Really a happy ending for everyone but the Insect Queen. For Insect Queen. I mean, eventually she'll have to take back... Um... Oh, wow! <laughs> look at that spray! <laughs> See you at the wedding, Odeon. Let's do our victory. Oh, are we going to have dramatic credits where everyone just goes their own way? I really hope so. Hey, thanks, really. You saved me, Yom and Yugi. Don't worry about it. We ate what do you mean, and Yugi? Yugi didn't do shit. Yeah, Yugi, what, again, the Big Shield Gardener really fucked you. <laughs> really? <laughs> the Big Shield Gardener, Joey. Possibly, like, the opposite of the Griggle Gambit is the Big Shield Butt, is the Big Shield Flex. <laughs> That's... The Big Shield Flex. <laughs> that was. All you do is attack with the Big Shield Gardener with no trap cards behind him. Yeah. By the way, if he had actually legitimately played that fucker in defense mode, he might have actually had a hard time. <laughs> Yeah, if he had just set the monster, like, we don't have anything that could have broken that. No, we actually... Even we'd... our powered-up Dark Magician girl can't break through it. It would have just been Obelisk. Yeah, it's, uh... It's real insane how... Instead, he attacked with it. It has 100 attack points. Uh... Ah, uh, here it is. It's the credits. It's really over. We did it. We did it. Let's enjoy these credits. It's our first... Not... Second character on the credits. 
Yeah, and th- these are all the people I guess we've dueled along the way. Uh, he's in red because we killed him. Never forget uh, Paradox and how we beat him down. Weevil we'll killed himself. Yeah, after he lost the queen. Weevil never healed from his cucking. Bones was the best man, and he cried <laughs> during the wedding. Bones is in red because he's already dead. Yeah, Mako uh, was lost at sea. The mime was never found again. I don't even remember these two guys. Also killed them on a roof. Wow, this is actually look at that like sensuous my pose though for yeah, the end. I feel like it's hard to draw my any other way though. Yeah, uh, Grandpa still kind of confused about what's going on. Bakura, evil Bakura showed up for a brief second and was not doable. Yeah, he was literally in that one scene with Yugi. There's Mokuba. There's Taya. There's the best girl in the entire game. There you are, Grill. Uh, wait for me as I have to yeah. tell my I have to tell my parents that I've got married. I became the dual king. <laughs> and also I'm gonna get married. I like Kaiba's and hand pose there too. And I'm gonna get married. Yeah. Uh this guy, he was I expelled the evil from his body, so now we're cool. He's cool with the wedding and everything. I asked him, don't worry about it. Man, it's really hard yeah. to take Yugi seriously as, like, the focal point of this game after that fucking Big Shield Gardener shit. That's, it's really hard to look at it the this same is, way. That's the pose. This is the stance when you're about to play Big Shield Gardener in attack mode. <laughs> I'm holding my hand and my dual disc all in the same arm, so I can't play any of my cards. B- the blue eyes. <laughs> my deck has no prophetic cards. It does have the Big Shield Gardener in attack mode. <laughs> uh this is it uh i can't get past this screen so thank you everyone for joining us for the end did not actually completely render no just like the game itself it's kind of janky <laughs> up until the end damn so, fine game though damn fine game so join us next time when we'll find maybe another Yu-Gi-Oh series we're gonna have to let this one breathe because you know but don't worry, the Adventures of Yom will continue. And technically speaking, Alternate Dimension Yom, one that uh, did not find Ishizu and was instead transported to the Legend of Zelda, uh, was instead found there. <laughs> so you can find don't his... Worry, guys. I'm gonna make him play Resha for Destruction and fucking hate his life. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people have already warned me about Resha for Destruction. But join it, uh, join, thanks for joining us for this series. We'll see y'all for the next one. Hey, everybody. Goodbye.